Is it the right time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? Welcome back. Today, we're taking a deep dive into Microsoft. We recently published an initial report on our website, but now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. To stay updated on all our latest analysis, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell. Don't miss out on any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Looking to enhance your trading decisions? Try our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Lastly, please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of October 24, 2023, our system has identified Microsoft as a buy candidate, with a score of 2.31. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed since then. If you followed our analysis, you would have experienced an impressive gain of 13.33% since we initially recommended Microsoft as a buy candidate 43 days ago. This means an average daily return of 0.31% since it was listed as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in a strong rising trend in the short term, presenting a potential buying opportunity. However, if the lower trend floor at $372.84 is broken, it may indicate a slower rate of rising and could potentially signal a trend shift. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected 21.91% change over the next three months. This suggests a possible return between 21.35% and 31.3%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected 49.91% change over the next year. This indicates a potential return between 37.33% and 56.92%. So, the stock price could range from $514.41 to $587.78 after a year. Our latest update for Microsoft brings a positive headline, Green Day on Friday for Microsoft. The stock price of Microsoft increased by 0.278% on the last trading day, which was Friday, December 22, 2023. It rose from $373.54 to $374.58. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated 0.657% between a low of $372.72 and a high of $375.17. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in six instances and is currently up by 0.09% over the past two weeks. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 524,000 shares. Overall, approximately 17 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $6.37 billion. It's important to note that a decrease in volume on higher prices can indicate divergence and potentially foreshadow changes in the coming days. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, we can see that the highest price reached $384.30, while the lowest price was $219.35. As of now, the current price is 2.53% or $9.72 below the 52-week high of $384.30. This high price also happens to be the all-time high for the stock. Analyst Ratings Let's take a look at the latest ratings for Microsoft Corporation, ticker symbol Microsoft. On Tuesday, December 5, 2023, Needham analysts assigned a hold grade to Microsoft with a hold action. Moving on to Tuesday, November 21, 2023, Piper Sandler analysts gave Microsoft an overweight grade with a hold action. Now, let's go back to Thursday, November 16, 2023. Wedbush analysts rated Microsoft as outperform with a hold action. Also on Thursday, November 16, 2023, Mizuho Securities analysts gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. Lastly, on Monday, November 6, 2023, Bernstein analysts assigned a buy grade to Microsoft with a hold action. Analysts have overwhelmingly rated Microsoft stock as a strong buy. They have given the P-E ratio and price to book a strong buy rating as well. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a more neutral outlook. 
Today, we'll be discussing the signals that have been identified for Microsoft. Currently, there are mixed signals in the stock market. On Tuesday, November 28, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a 2.12% decrease in the stock. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, there are positive indicators for the Microsoft stock. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a buy signal, providing a favorable forecast for the stock. Furthermore, the relation between the two signals shows a general buy signal, with the short-term average above the long-term average. In case of corrections, there is support from the lines at $371.62 and $371.21. If the stock breaks below these levels, it will issue sell signals. Despite gaining prices, the volume fell during the last trading day, creating a divergence between volume and price. This may be an early warning and requires close monitoring of the stock. Let's explore some other signals that you might find interesting. First, we have the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently showing a sell signal. Next, the pivots indicator indicates a sell signal 19 days ago. The Bollinger Bands are showing a buy signal 7 days ago. The short-term moving average is indicating a sell signal 4 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average is showing a buy signal 56 days ago. When we analyze the relation between the short and long moving averages, we find a buy signal 52 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart. The short moving average indicates a buy signal 2 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average is showing a buy signal 40 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages is indicating a buy signal 37 days ago. If you want to discover more signals, make sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. Let's start with support. Microsoft currently finds support from accumulated volume at $370.73. This is an important level to watch because it may present a buying opportunity. When the support level is being tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. Moving on to risk, Microsoft is known for its controlled movements and good liquidity, which makes the risk associated with this stock relatively low. In fact, the stock has recently had a daily average volatility of 1.08%, indicating stability. To give you a better idea of the stock's recent performance, in the last day, Microsoft's stock price varied by $2.45 between its high and low points, representing a movement of 0.657%. Before we explore potential trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio is crucial as it measures a company's current share price in relation to its per-share earnings. Microsoft has a relatively normal P-E ratio, which is often observed in businesses with established track records or predictable revenues. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for Microsoft's fourth quarter of 2023 is expected to be released on January 23, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $2.75. It's important to monitor these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be discussing some day trading levels for Microsoft. If the stock is on an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $376.17. For those who don't own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. If you're already holding the stock, this could be a potential level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $370.73. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, as you can anticipate a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, the combined average rating for Microsoft is strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On December 15, 2023, Hoya Alice L sold 264,433 shares of common stock as an insider. On December 14, 2023, 
Warrior Padmashri bought 858 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. On December 14, 2023, Warrior Padmashri also bought 277 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. On December 14, 2023, Thompson John Wendell bought 87,636 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. On December 14, 2023, Thompson John Wendell also bought 54,666 shares of restricted stock units as an insider. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 76.945. Overall, insiders purchased 2,529,537 shares and sold 328,957 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $361.68, which represents a decrease of 3.44%. This stock exhibits low daily movements, resulting in lower risk for investors. Additionally, there is a sell signal from a pivot top that was identified 18 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good investment? Based on various short-term signals and a positive overall trend, it seems that the current level of Microsoft stock could present a buying opportunity. However, upon analyzing the volatility in movements of the last trading day, our system suggests that the current price may be overvalued. Looking ahead to Tuesday, December 26, we anticipate Microsoft to open with a decrease of $0.423, starting at $374.16. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis of your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view of the stock. We value your opinion so please comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also interested in hearing your target for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a beautiful day. Regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.